Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on a arm pad for my when I weld. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of overhead welding and I, have, I rest my arm like this a lot and the sparks fall on it and I have a few burns on my arm. So to solve that problem hopefully I drew this up on a piece of veggie tan leather. Um, this is going to be the arm pad so it will wrap around my arm just like so. It's 14 inches by 11 inches and then that little round piece will sit on my elbow so if I lay on the ground at least I have a little bit of a padding. So the first thing we're going to do, I already got this wet, I'm going to put a little bit more water on it, go inside, tool what I want on it, and then after we get done tooling it, we will put some straps on it and finish it up. So let's get right to work. We have the armband here. We got the frame all done. We got the diamond pattern all done. A um, little disclaimer, I have not ever done any kind of tooling on leather. So this is my first time. I'm trying to learn as I go. Um, a little thing I messed up on is if you look here, these diamonds are kind of tilted a little bit. These are more up and down. So uh, I just messed up when I was drawing it. I had I marked it with pencil and it was too deep so it would have left marks. If there's a way to get that out of leather, please leave a comment down below and let me know. But a little thing we're, we're going to do next is get a round punch and punch them on each intersections of the diamonds right here. I went ahead and got the little round dots tooled into the leather. I thought I was recording, apparently I wasn't. So sorry I did not get that on camera, but the next thing we are going to do is try to go around all the edges and put a bevel on them so it kind of gives them more depth. I've watched a few videos on this, not exactly sure how it's going to look, so I'm going to start here and then if this comes out looking good then I'm going to go around the edges of these also. Not not the uh, lines, but the, the actual edge. So let's get right to work. We just finished up the bevels, as you saw me do. The ones here in the middle is where I started. I kind of made them a little wider than I was hoping to have them, but it doesn't look too bad. I kind of enjoy the way they look. But these over here, I put the bevel punch at like a 45 degree angle when I was hitting it, so it wouldn't make such a big indent into the leather, or such a wide indent into the leather. leather. So that helped a lot. The next thing we're gonna do is, I don't know if you can tell, yeah, you can kind of see it. All these little tick marks I put around the edge, those are little pencil marks I made. I'm going to try to do a welding bead looking uh, pattern around the edge. Uh, it's gonna be like a stick weld. So I'm gonna go inside, grab the punch, try to punch that in here, and then after that, I'll get right back to y'all. So let's get back to work. I finished up the welding bead and I also drew the SJ welding here and with pencil and then I drew the cowboy with the horse and the cross down here. That is also with just pencil. So I need to go inside, finish tooling those. After that, I need to figure out how I'm going to attach this to my arm. I'm thinking do like a belt, so just kind of a belt strap with a buckle or use um, snaps. So I'm going to go figure out which way will be the best. And then I will also be staining this and painting a few pieces on here. So let's get back inside, get this tooled up and get to the next thing.
now that I got everything dyed, and I went over the darker dye twice, and then around the welding bead, I only went once, so it kind of gave it a little bit of a shading look. The next thing I need to do is be able to attach this to my arm. So what I'm going to do is put these little uh, snaps on it. Went ahead, poked a hole through the leather using a ice pick. So I'm gonna punch these holes, get everything ready, and put the, I'm gonna put four snaps on it. I just did two for the outside, and then once I get in my arm, I'll mark the other two, and we'll be good to go, I'm hoping. So the next thing we need to do is get that done. So let's get right to work. And that's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you all for watching. So here is a final look at the armband. As you can see, I got the snaps on. Makes it really easy to take off. Um, the reason I did that is because if I get a spark or something in my shirt, I can rip it off really easy and hopefully not burn myself too much. But I believe uh, the way I did it, which I kind of messed up because I wanted these initials to be on the outside, but that's it is what it is. But um, the way I did it is it'll sit on my arm like this, so any sparks that are falling should hit and just roll off. They shouldn't be getting caught by the seam right there. So, like I said, that's going to be a wrap for this video. So thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.